Good morning guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I thought I'll show you a real and raw way of eating. Day of eating, so I've just woken up. I'm gonna show you my meals, but also I'm gonna educate you and why I'm eating that way. Like what's in the meal, what's the reason why, for example, I'm eating carbs, protein, whatever. But first, every morning, first thing I do, drink water and take my supplements. So probiotics and magnesium. Every single morning without fail. So why do I take probiotics and why do I take magnesium? So magnesium is responsible for so many activities that are going on in your body over about like 600. So being deficient in it can cause your body to you know um, perform optimally. And it also helps with kind of like losing up your stools so you go to the toilet without any pain. So this is the one that I get from NutraVita. Then I also get the prebiotics from them and they have over 60, 60 billion SCF per, uh, per serving. So you want to have prebiotics, they have multiple strain complex. So in this case, we've got 21, which is very good. And these help your gut flo uh, flora, so your gut. Your gut is everything. Digestion is everything. You want to have a good gut. You want to have bowel movements every bloody day. And this helps you with that, so these are my go-to. I'm gonna try some of the powdered one as well because apparently they're better. So I will try, I will upgrade, and I will let you know. But so far, these have been doing me pretty well. So yeah, that's why I take them. Let's go and do that. Now that I've taken my supplement, first thing I'm gonna do is coffee. Every morning without fail. Coffee, let's go and make one. I, I might have, let me see what I got in the fridge. Yeah, I'm just gonna have some organic low fat milk with it and I'm gonna make an iced coffee because it's quite warm in here. Why do I drink our milk? Because I don't like the other milks. Like, I can have coconut and almond but they're not my favorite so just stick to what you like. When I tell you, I'm not trying to make this look pretty. I'm being real, like, it's probably gonna be a mess of a vlog, but you know, I'm still teaching you something, so. Let's go and make this coffee. So we're now gonna add some ice. Three ice, and then some milk. Woohoo, I don't want it too long, so that's gonna be it. Shaky, 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 and we go and drink it. I'm now gonna sit here, enjoy my coffee, and do some work. I'm gonna show you my breakfast in a little bit. Breakfast time, AKA my favorite meal of the day, usually. It depends. My favorite meal is usually my dessert, my ice cream. But let's go and have some breakfast. So I found this protein bread here in Dubai. They don't have it in London. It is pretty good, because for two slices, you got less than 200 calories, six grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. That's damn good and eight grams of fat. Remember, if you are training after your breakfast, you want to have carbs and some protein. For example, I'm not training immediately today, so I'm gonna have a protein heavy breakfast. And then I'm gonna have also some carbs, but more carbs before my training session. What am I gonna have this with? I'm gonna have it with turkey breast. So smoked turkey, also, contains a lot of protein and some fat not too many carbs but 
So I'm gonna have a slice of bread with turkey and then I'm gonna have some of this apple. Or I might have this before my training. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Let's try. Let's go and toast this bread. So lots of protein for breakfast, some carbs, some fat, and then I'm gonna have a carb snack before we go to the gym. Pardon me, I'm an idiot. But um, yeah, so carbs and some protein before you train, and then protein and some carbs and some fat after you train. You wanna make sure that you have a lot of protein after your training session. As a rule of thumb, every meal you want to have some protein, some carbs, some fat, right? In terms of protein, try to have four protein servings per day, or at least three. So for example, my protein target is 100, about 120 per day, 120 grams. What I'm gonna be doing is gonna have about 25, 30 per breakfast, same for lunch, same for snack, same for dinner. So four servings or about 30 gram each, or 25. Guys, it's now 10.30 and I've been sitting at this laptop trying to figure out how to edit YouTube, like learning more. And I think we need a coffee. Let's go and make one. I'm a disaster. I am a mess. Sorry. Also, you know how I just said I don't really like coconut milk? Like, it's not my favorite, but I don't want to use too many calories for my coffees. So, and I left some of this, so I might as well just put some coconut milk this time. I just find it a bit sweet. Like, it's too sweet for me, even if it's unsweetened. But it only has like 14 calories. So if you like something sweet and you are on a calorie budget, then yeah, that's an option. Almond milk is the same than sweetened one. I think it's like 13 calories for like 100 mils. Whereas the milk that I use is like low fat. I think it's like 45 or something like that. So you don't want to have too many of that if you are on a budget in terms of calories. Guys, I think the coffee machine just stopped working. It might be because this water spilled. I don't know. I'm not a coffee machine expert. So, I'm not sure. I wanna try and fix it. Let's see. By now you're probably thinking, is she a fucking idiot? Yes, I am. Is a switch on and off but button here, and guess what? It turns on. I turned it off by mistake. So now, back to my coffee. Let's go and enjoy it. I've been sitting on my laptop all morning so it's time to get some movement in and I'm gonna have uh, the world's biggest apple for some carbs to give me some energy I'm still not hungry at all from what I had earlier so from my sandwiches earlier and my coffee so I'm just gonna have an apple for some more carbs if I was having a heavy leg day, I would have more food. However, I am just getting some movement in today. I'm gonna do an upper body session. I was really debating whether to train or not. I don't feel my best, but you know, we're gonna go and get it done anyway. I just came back from the gym. Very average session, like below average, I will say. And I realized that I have nothing in my fridge. So let's go and get something for lunch. First workout meal, so we wanna have a lot of protein, some carbs and some fat. I need inspiration because I'm not too sure what I want, but I'll probably eat one of the things that I eat every day. My nutrition is boring, guys, boring. I've decided I am gonna make either a wrap or a salad. So I'm gonna get some veggies now. Let's start with some tomatoes. Tuna for protein and chickpeas for protein, carbs, as I said, some fat and a lot of fibers. So tuna for protein, some chickpeas for carbs and protein. And then we want a lot of fiber, so all our veggies. 
and let's see what else. Some cheese. So let's see what we've got. Tomato, watermelon, this will be my um, dessert. Then I've got some red peppers. Absolutely love red peppers, you should know this by now. Some chickpeas. I already had some tuna. And I've got some cheese. I don't usually have this. But I thought I might just like melt them in my toast. So yeah, that's an option. Let's go and create something. I forgot to buy the wraps, so I'm definitely not gonna have a wrap. But I was thinking maybe have some peppers, tuna and chickpeas with some tagine spice. This is very good, so I'm gonna have that. And then I might have like a slice of toast with some cheese, or I might melt some cheese in there. You know what, I'm gonna melt some cheese in there. Uh, so I'm gonna have tuna, protein, chickpeas, protein and carbs, some veggies, I'm gonna add some tomatoes as well, and then some more protein and fat with the cheese. So I'm gonna just add the cheese on top. This will be my lunch and then I am going to have some of this watermelon for carbs as well. I get majority of my carbs from fruits and veggies by the way, especially here in Dubai because it's very hot. So that's all I crave. Let's go. Hello, so I just came back from downstairs. I was sunbathing and reading. And now I'm feeling a bit hungry, so I'm gonna have another snack. Actually, my first snack. Some more protein bread, I'm feeling. And then I just think I am gonna put some cheese, melt some cheese in it, a loaf of toasty, and some turkey breast. Very high protein today. I might put some tomatoes as well. Very high protein today, but very unintentional as well. I always aim to get 120 per day. That's above um, above two times my body weight because I'm currently about 57 kilograms. So probably like 2.2, 2.3, but I'm in a deficit. So it's very important to keep your protein high to avoid any uh, muscle loss. Two slices of protein bread, two slices of turkey and a little bit of cheese. And let's move around. Whoop. I came to work from Starbucks, so I'm having a iced white Americano with a pump of sugar-free caramel. Pretty much about 20 calories. I'm having a decaf as well because it's already late. It's super hot in here and I'm just waiting for someone to move so I can go inside. Hello again. So I just came back from my walk. So I walked back from the cafe where I was working and I tried to record something on the way but it was so humid outside. Every time I pop the camera out, the lens will blur out because it was so humid. I don't know if there's a word for it in English, but anyways. We're home now, showered, didn't wash my hair, and it's time for dinner. So it's 9 p.m. I am on 1,150 calories. And the problem, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's exactly a problem, but when I'm here, I don't get very hungry. Like, I think it's because of the heat. You just don't want to eat as much. So I am on 100 grams of protein. Woohoo! 
so I only need 20 grams of protein I need a bit more fat and a bit more carbs so what we having for dinner I can't really be asked to cook so I'm just gonna put together a couple of things let me think what we got I'm probably just gonna do peppers again and um, I might have an egg white egg white omelette with some cheese, peppers and uh, some tomatoes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have for dinner because I can't really be able to cook because I'm excited for the desert. So I bought myself a cornetto because I had the calories for it. I need carbs. I need fat. So why not? Treat yourself, girl. Treat yourself. So, I'm gonna go and cook now, but I kind of wanna explain. But this video was for you guys to kind of understand the way I plan my food. So, no many rules, just remember have some carbs, protein, and fat at every single meal. Have a lot of fibers. Then, eat carbs before you train, eat protein after you train. Protein with some carbs. And also, before you train, there'll be some protein with those carbs then what else have lots of fibers because they're gonna keep you full and also they're good for your microbiome because we want our digestion to be good digestion is king okay so we want to make sure that we're going to the loo regularly every day that we're not feeling bloated etc etc have lots of liquids especially in this heat drink loads and loads of water and yeah that's pretty much it from for me for today i wanted to add one thing so could i eat have eaten the same calories so about like 1500 i think in, at the end 1600 just by eating junk food yes i could have but i would have been a lot more hungry and a little and a lot less energetic also one thing that no one talks about is the thermic effect of food so how many calories your body actually burns to digest those foods for protein and fiber 30 percent of those calories that you inject with inject i don't know but anyway that you eat from protein and fibers will actually go to waste so because your body will use the amount to digest so let's say for example you have 100 grams uh, sorry 100 calories coming from protein you actually only taking in 70 calories do you get me whereas from fat and carbs is a lot lower and yeah that's all i had to say i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna go and cook now i'm not even gonna show you what i'm cooking because it's not exciting just remember i'm having an egg white omelet with some cheese and some peppers and a cornetto. Let me just show you that cornetto. Bye bye.